What's up guys, Rave13 here and welcome to another Gumplar review. Okay, so what do we have here today is the HGUC Gundam Tristan from the Twilight Axis series. Okay, so there's actually a few things I want to point out right away. Now this uh, unit here is actually quite unique due to the reason that um, there's actually a novel and uh, OVA series. So the OVA series was only 5 minutes long per episode and was only a couple of episodes. There was so much hype about the Twilight Axis that when Bandai released it or Sunrise released it, uh, people were disappointed. And people became even more disappointed when they released this kit here. Now they started pointing out the issues, the simplicity, and the uh, feel of um, an old HGUC kit. This unit was actually released back in June of 2017. Yeah. So there's actually a couple of uh, issues here already. Now I'm going to talk about this right away. The issues, not the seam line. The seam line that uh, I can point out is this here for the forearm. But if you do it properly... It's not bad. Now the nubs is actually one of the issues. It's actually quite thick and annoying and it's actually positioned in some areas. Now some of the areas I want to point out is actually in here. Yeah. That was actually a weird one. If you're not careful enough you can actually damage the kit. And now rather than that um, a newer HGUC fill that I was mentioning there's actually a peg here this armor is actually attached right now you actually have to take this off so you guess like um, practically to take this off it's just two pieces and um, yeah I'm kind of disappointed and uh, there's actually limited mobility, so it's a peg. Yeah, there you go. Now, the other issue, yeah, the knobs, thick. It's not, it's not that bad, but uh, yeah. And it's the design, it's too simple. They should have at least added a little bit more. Now, the stickers ain't actually that bad. There's only a few. But uh, looks like I may have misplaced the stickers here. No. Nope. Here's the sticker. Which is not bad. But uh, I don't know where the rest is supposed to go. And uh, you're going to do some panel line in certain areas to bring this uh, full potential. Now. It's not bad. It's not bad. Now let's uh, talk about the history of this unit here, shall we? So this unit was actually built by Butch Junk Incorporated, the subcontractor of Anaheim Electronics. So Gundam Alex here uh, was built using spare parts and salvage parts from other units and some from uh, Gundam units. And the only original parts that this unit have left is head, backpack, chest and waist the rest are spare parts or salvage parts now um the salvage parts um well from the gundam alex i'm guessing this unit was actually based from the gundam alex which is not that bad so um and uh, the theory for me in my own opinion the parts that were used uh, to build this unit at least for the part of the legs and the arms is from the Gundam Alex itself. Now, if you, I don't have a Gundam Alex for comparison, but uh, you guys can check out. So Gundam Alex actually have the thrusters and the Tristan have the thrusters. So it's the feet here. Now the only difference between the trust leg thrusters uh, from the Tristan and Alex is the Werner here. This one's uh, more like an open space. The Alex have uh, some smaller thrusters there, different design, which I actually have it here for the extra parts. Yeah. Okay, now um, the next part that the 
Tristan have from the Alex is the forearm here. Now, on the manual, okay, where is that manual? Where did I put it? Okay, I lost it somewhere. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, on the manual, it actually says Gatlingan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the only downside to it is it doesn't state in the manual how to install the Gatling gun, and when I tried it earlier, it didn't work. So you'll actually have to modify the inside a little bit to make to fit this Gatling gun here, if you're the modder type. Yep. Now, um, the other part that I want to point out, well, is the Gatling gun here. Uh, it's a beam rifle, a basic one, I guess. I don't know which unit this is from. So leave it in the comment section below where it's supposed to, um, where this uh, weapon came from. But the other one that I want to point out is this here, this beam rifle. This beam rifle was actually based off of, um, from the high new, actually. And um, I actually have one here right now for comparison. Now this one here is four pieces. The Hainu, this is actually um, the Hainu HWS, but they're all the same. So this is uh, four pieces, well this is three pieces. Yeah, which kind of sucks. So you'll actually have to paint the upper part here. Now, now the shield actually have um, Gundam Alex uh, all over it. I just want to point it out and then the thrusters of um, Gundam Tristan here is practically based off from the Gundam Mark II so you guys can see the comparison there which is not bad okay Not bad at all. Now, um, it actually does come with a beam saber, and the beam saber kind of you can kind of take it out easily. And um, to put this properly, you'll actually have to take out this uh, white piece here. Other and once you put it in place, it's actually a solid one; it won't even fall off. Okay. Now, before going. There, let's put this back. Okay. Oops. The part fell off there. Okay, now let's do a little bit of a mobility test, shall we? Okay, for the mobility test, we're going to start from bottom and up. For the feet here, there's actually mobility, which is really nice. Okay, not bad. Now for the leg. Mm -hmm. Now, that's how far it can go. There's some issue with the waist here. Yeah. And for the waist, limited. But the side here, you can actually replace that if you want to. Now, now there's a there's mo good mobility here for the legs. There's some details there, and that's how far it can go for the splits. Now there's no peg uh, poly cap underneath, so you'll have to use the other action bases. Now, for the arms here, you can actually do 360 easy. And uh, as you guys can see there, 360 hands. Now, that's how far it can go. And for the, let's put that aside for a second. For the head, there's actually mobility there. It, yeah. <laughs> Oops. That's how far it can go for the head. 
but the uh, head mobility this is actually a plus now for the backpack there barely any mobility okay which is not bad now for the shoulder armor here get some limited mobility here and but sadly this is actually a peg which I'm gonna show you guys in a bit here okay so um, the next part also is um, the installation of the shield here I should have done that uh, also now my advice is oops <laughs> that's not supposed to happen okay take out this part here there's a poly cap there as you guys have already seen and then so I'm just showing you guys how to install this without any hassle okay once you hear that click you're good oh kind of slides off here hmm yeah I never knew that so practically slide that in there and then uh, there's the handle there you slide it in the hand and then the poly cap there okay not bad not bad at all okay now let's talk about the issues here shall we now the issues as you guys already see this this uh, shoulder armor can be loose so um, which I'm not really a fan of now now I'm gonna show you guys why I'm not a fan of this one here it's because um, these are two pieces there's supposed to be a slot here that's supposed to keep it in place but it uh, didn't work and um, it's a peg also <clears throat> so this is actually one of the reasons why people is not a big fan of the Tristan here because of uh, the descent um, the simplicity I'm actually disappointed and the nubs also is the other issue now this one here I want to point out is yeah, some weird spots here for the nubs if you're not careful you might actually shave off this areas there yeah so uh, there's limited mobility there some nubs and uh, this actually got uh, that uh, old revive um, HGUC kit because of the bag and the simplicity um, I don't know the other reason why people do not like this uh, kit so leave it in the comment section below now the thrusters let's get back to this shall we it's uh, I'll kind of move but it might fall off <laughs> yeah okay there we go okay so is this a good kit to purchase well if you are a veteran builder like me yeah definitely it's it's a decent kit I give this a 4 out of 10 uh, just for the sake of it um, it uh, needs a revive already this unit was released back in June 2017 it should they should have actually designed this properly but uh, with all the hype that they put in for the Twilight Access series then the disappointment for this unit here <sighs> oh well nothing much can be done about it hopefully Bandai realizes their mistake or they just ignore the mistake um, if you're getting it to Gunpla this is not a good uh, kit to buy definitely 
But uh, one last thing that I do want to point out, maybe salvage this unit here, is the design here. This is actually the first waste uh, area that uh, actually got its uh, design there, see? For a high grade kit, HGUC. Now the other part I want to point out is this here. This is a cockpit block. They actually added some design there. That may be its saving grace. <laughs> yeah. So um, there's actually some issues that uh, Bandai needs to work out. I'm still hoping that they'll uh, release a master grade version or a better version of this kit soon because this definitely needs a salvation okay now the other part that you guys notice is uh, the thruster is kind of falling off such a shame okay so that's all I got for now for this review here I give this a 4 out of 10 disappointed but there's some saving grace for this unit here I'm just gonna add some panel lines make it look good but I'm not gonna put anything afterwards if uh, Bandai does release a newer version better designed version of the Tristan I'm definitely gonna pick it up but uh, this one here even though I like it it actually uh, it actually failed due to the design itself well uh, sorry this video took a lot longer than I anticipated I really want to go um, to put in as much detail as I possibly can for this unit here okay um, this is Reef 13 thank you guys for watching this video have a good day good night afternoon wherever you are I am signing out for the next kit haven't decided yet I'll uh, surprise you guys. Okay, see ya.